Who? Jackie's not here. Yep. Oh, she's not here uh -uh. today? Oh, uh -uh. okay. Let's all rise to the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, everybody. First thing we have, obviously, in the agenda is the approval of the minutes from last week. Chair, I'll a motion to approve the minutes. So moved. Second. Second. Questions or changes in the minutes? Any questions or changes? Corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Uh, I think we knew business engineering. Good morning. Jeremy Grenard, city engineer. Uh, this morning we have three items on the agenda that are all related to the Quezon Street Water Main Extension project that was constructed really in 2020. Um, this is the 24-inch water main that serves to connect the Murdoch Park booster station into the rest of the system. Um, we'd like to get this project closed out. And uh, Andrew Gordon is here from Wessler Engineering if there's any questions on any of these items as we make our way through them. Um, the first item that we have is change order number one. Uh, this change order was due to the soil conditions that were experienced during excavation for the water main. Uh, Miller Pipeline encountered a 600-foot segment of the trench that had a lot of gravelly soils. Every time they'd, you know, take a bucket, of it, it would just collapse. And so the trench got wide, uh, and they encountered other utilities at the same time and had to repair those utilities as well. Um, <coughs> Wessler did a very thorough job vetting this request by M Miller Pipeline, and we included that response letter with the change order. Um, the change order is for $212,375.19, bringing the overall contract to $1,813,071.19 with an overall change order percentage of 13.3%, and we're requesting your approval of this change order. Okay, thank you, Jeremy. Chair, I a motion to approve this uh, a change order for Cason Street. So moved. Second. Move and second. You notice I said I said Cason, not Cason. 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 <laughs> Just kidding. I, I went to Murdoch, man. I know. I know what Cason is. <laughs> Um, okay, we have a change. We have a change order number one. We have a motion to second. Two hundred twelve thousand dollars. Any questions for uh, Jeremy on this? A change order. Nothing? No. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Uh, the second item we have is change order number two, which is the adjustment of final quantities for the project. The change order is $14,077, bringing the overall contract to $1,827,148.19 with an overall change order percentage of 14.1%. We're requesting your approval of this. Change. Thank you. Chair Antonio, motion to approve change number two with the final change order. So moved. Second. Second. Moved and seconded. Questions on this? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. And lastly, we have pay application number three, which includes release of retainage. Um, we've received the final waiver of lien as well as the as-built drawings for the project, and every punch list item has been addressed. Great. And we're requesting your approval of release of retainage for the project. Thank you. Chair, a motion to approve the release of the uh, retainage for the same project. So moved. Second. It moved and seconded. Questions on this? Looks like a pretty thorough job was mm -hmm. done in all phases here of proofing <coughs> final quantities and uh, the trench refill, was there something that provoked that besides just good business practices? Well, we had a lot of, uh, we, f we feel like the, the contractor was requesting more than was due to them, so we have spent extra time proving uh, what quantities were actually put in the ground and, and how much time was actually spent. Good work. Yeah. Thank you. So a motion, a second to approve this uh, release of retainage on the project. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. Appreciate it. Um, Lafayette Housing Authority. Good morning. Valerie Oakley, project manager with Lafayette Housing Authority. Um, first, I have several releases. I'll go through them one at a time. The first is release of mortgage for 223 DeHart Street. Um, this homebuyer satisfied their period of affordability. 
Thank you. Chair intend a motion to approve the release of mortgage on DeHart. So moved. Second. Second. Moved and seconded. Questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Thank you. Next is release of mortgage for 3,110 Long Loy Drive. Um, this home buyer um, <coughs> got off their loan and uh, sold the house. Okay. Chair on a motion to approve the release of mortgage on 3110 Long Loy. So moved. Second. Second. Moved and seconded. Questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Thank you. Next is release of mortgage for uh, 2224 Meadow Drive. This is uh, one of the old longstanding down payment loans that has come to term and been paid off. Great. Chair and tenant motion to approve this release of mortgage on 2224 Meadow Drive. So moved. Second. Second. So, uh, motion to second. Questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Thank you. And next is release of covenant for deed restrictions for the same property, 2224 Meadow Drive. Chair and tenant motion to approve the release of deed restrictions for the same property. So moved. Second. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Thank you. And <clears throat> last, I have an amendment to the agreement between Lafayette Housing Consortium and the YWCA of Greater Lafayette for the Fresh Start Program Tenant Based Rental Assistance program year 2020 through 2021. Um, this amendment will extend the time for the home, uh, I'm sorry, the households to begin receiving assistance through the end of October and then also extends the ending date for 12 months um, through the end of November 2022. Uh, the amendment also allows for an additional family to be served uh, because there is a little bit of funding left over. The original agreement allowed for five families and for them to all begin receiving their 12 months of assistance uh, through June 30th. So this will extend that time frame a little bit longer to serve another family. Okay. Chair a motion to approve this uh, amendment. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Questions for Valerie on this? My question would be, um, has there been a, why wasn't the money used up in the period? I mean, was, is it the demand? I mean, is it lower than they anticipated? Um, there was a little bit of slowdown through 2020. Like because with of everything else. Right? Because of COVID? Yes. Okay. And we that can usually, always be the excuse. We can always say it's COVID. Right? Well, for 2020, yeah. it is. Yeah. But um, but sometimes it's hard to place the families with the, getting the rent assistance, and so the sometimes the program goes through slower phases. Yeah. They do have two families in the pipeline now, so they're ready to move forward, and they'll be ready to move forward with the 2021 grant as soon as those funds are released, and we're working on the paperwork to do that. I was going to ask about the next year's grant. Okay. Uh, that agreement will be coming up shortly. And so once we start in this period of 2021, it's extended for the entire year of, of help, right? Right. That's what it is. Okay. Right, because the families receive 12 months of rent assistance, right. and the agreement is held open until that last payment is made. Is it distributed then monthly? Yes. Okay. Rather than you. <laughs> okay, we have a motion a second to approve this extension. Anybody have any questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Thanks, Valerie. Uh, Lafayette Renew. Morning, Brad Talley, Lafayette Renew. You have before you contract amendment number two with Wessler Engineering regarding the 40 and 8 lift station and force main replacement. Uh, all COVID related. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, as we got close to um, taking this project out to bid, we, um, with our experience on a few other projects, we we noticed that the cost for boring operations had had increased dramatically, and so we did a constructability review with our construction manager um, in-house and um, decided that those costs um, were pretty pretty high and we wanted to take another look and, and see if there's something else that we could do. And so we um, were able to meet with uh, homeowners um, 
that we were going to put sewer on, but now we can uh, replace a station on their property. And, and we, we came up with a better, mm. uh, more cost-effective um, design. So what we're doing here is to finish that design. We moved the lift station, decreased the, or took out all the boring operations, and we should see a significant uh, cost um, savings because of that. And so Wessler will perform this not in the not to exceed amount of 49,000 and will bring their total contract amount to 156,790 and uh, recommend your approval. Thank you. Chair intended motion to approve this amendment number two for a 40 and eight lift station with Wessler. So moved. Second. Second. Questions? What do you think this is gonna shave off of what you thought it was gonna cost? Um, north of a half million. Wow. Also For, well, a yeah. investment yeah. of yep. it. Yep. Good yeah. work. Yeah. That's great. Is, is the boring uh, uh, cost going up so dramatically just because of the demand? I believe so. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, just it's a lot of projects out there, a lot of money being spent. Oh yeah, we we've had. I mean, just just internally, the Pearl River uh, job, we had to do some boring. Ninth and South Street, we had to do boring. So you know, it's something that's becoming mm -hmm. uh, more needed i guess yeah and, and the prices have gone up yeah yeah good okay we have a motion a second to approve this uh amendment number two anybody have any further questions hearing none all those in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed same sign thank you thanks brad uh claims <clears throat> good morning jeremy deal city controller Controller's office has reviewed claims totaling $978,202.44 and request the board's approval. Thanks, Jeremy. Chair intend a motion to approve the claims? So moved. Second? Second. Okay. Moved and seconded. Questions on claims? I see on Big 13 we've got a couple of, looks like, smaller invoices from Memorial Island. Uh, are we about complete with that? <laughs> The, uh, <laughs> the J.R. Kelly Company um, application is at 99.3%. Yeah. I thought as much. All right, thank you. Any other questions? I didn't have any. No, I didn't. All right. I have a motion to second to approve the claims. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. same sign. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you. Uh -huh. We have uh, three special event requests today. One is the first on our agenda is German Fest. Anybody here from German Fest? Morning. Good morning. I'm Anthony Shuckle, uh, coordinator of St. Boniface German Mini Fest. German Mini Fest. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're scaling it down just a bit from years past. Um, I actually do have a updated map available for you if you'd like to see it. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, sir. <clears throat> this is not the one we have in our packet. Okay. I think the most important ones that you'd be concerned with are um, the gate location on Ferry Street, as well as where that fence outline is now as well. Um, I did speak with the Lafayette Fire Department and Police Departments yesterday, and we've clarified the need for um, the barriers and the, the street closures. We're requesting that, yeah, we have the 12-hour mm -hmm. setup time starting at yeah, 5 a.m., on Saturday morning, September 11th, um, to close off those three streets, um, and also to have no parking uh, requested all day on the Friday previous to allow us to do staging of picnic tables and other booths on the side of the street as we continue to allow traffic to flow on Friday. Okay. Anthony, and, and all the good neighbor letters have been distributed and, yep. uh, and, uh, and no feedback here. Everybody's okay with everything? Yep. Neighbors, everybody? Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get this on the table. Chair and a motion to approve this German mini fest on, on September the 11th for St. Boniface. So moved. Second? Second. Moved and second. Any questions for Anthony on this? Will there be notice at 9th and Ferry? that the street is ultimately closed, that it's open to parking only? Yes, yeah, the the fire department yesterday said there will be, um, yeah, both the street closure signs as well as the water-filled barriers there. So that way people yeah, are com completely unable to make that turn onto Ferry Street. Because I 
that's a lot of traffic feeds down that, so I just didn't see the barricades noted on the map. Any other questions? Nope. Um, did, did Dr. Yoakum didn't, um, you didn't hear from him at all? Because I know he has seized patients on Saturdays, and that's been, not you guys, but it's been an issue with some of the things that have, on Ferry Street that have been closed there. Uh, no, we didn't hear back from him. As long but as you send the letter and he's, he knows yeah. that's good. Yeah. He'd be down at the next block down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, there is still parking there. Yeah. I know okay. it'll be rather busy that day, Sure. obviously. But yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, the festival doesn't start till 5 o'clock, so hopefully we wouldn't see too much parking taken up until, yeah, 4.30, 5-ish. Just as long as his patients couldn't get in and get out. That was his, because I will hear from him. <laughs> okay. So. Well, it seems like it. Yeah, I with think you're Where right. it is, I think yeah. it seems like he's okay. As long as he's been notified. Yeah. Any other questions regarding the special... Um, event. Okay, we have a motion, a second to approve German Minifest. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You. Good luck. Hope, hopefully your weather is good. Awesome day, September the 11th. All right, we have uh, uh, Phil Boot for our fire department, firefighters. Good morning. Chris Conklin, Lafayette Fire, Local 472. Uh, here to request uh, our, again, return to the streets for a uh, collection of MDA funds, uh, mm -hmm. our annual event. Obviously, we put it off last year. We were first in the state the year before that, and then they uh, closed us down. So hopefully we can retain that <sighs> meek honor and, uh, you know, generate more funds for the local community. Great. This is on September the 17th? Yes, yeah, 17th, 18th, and 19th. We get all three shifts that That's way. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, then one shift's not left with the, the right. bulk of the of the collection so it makes it a little easier for everybody and everybody wants to contribute so that gives us a chance for that to happen that's super let's go ahead and get this on the table chair and motion to approve the special event uh, well the fill the boot for the fire department local firefighters 472 so moved second second chris how many years you've done this uh, i think i'm in 12 12th year yep, yep. So, so you're getting it down right you got okay, it yeah slowly <laughs> but surely <laughs> now good for you this is a terrific clause Anybody else have any comments or questions on this? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Chris, for doing that. And then we have uh, a 9 11 remembrance. Chief? Good morning. Uh, Chief Richard Doyle, Lafayette Fire Department. Uh, in front of you, we have application for the um, 20 year anniversary of 9 11. It'll be on the uh, really bridge, pedestrian bridge. It's a joint effort between um, most of the emergency services, police, fire, and, and uh, the civilian um, population in our town. We've got uh, both the mayors will be speaking. We've got uh, people that will be speaking about um, each, each uh, if you want to call it section of loss, the uh, we'll firefighters speaking of the uh, loss of the fire service that day in New York, uh, police officer speaking about the loss of the police uh, experience that day, and then a, a civilian talking about the uh, loss of life in that, in the civilian uh, mm -hmm. life that day. So mm -hmm. it be uh, lasts about probably an hour and a half. We're gonna recognize every moment that there was a uh, impact. So the first tower, the second tower, um, mm -hmm. the Pentagon, and then Shanksville uh, as we go along. So this, again, it's a 20 year anniversary. Um, some days it seems like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Some days it seems like it was 20 years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. we've, uh, we're also going to speak about, you know, how we've changed, how that date changed us, you know, as a um, emergency services. Uh, that was the first, that was really when uh, Department of Homeland Security was um, mm -hmm. developed right after that. So there's some significant things that came out of that that we'll be speaking about and remembering. So you have the event. Thanks, Chief. You have the event from 7 to 11. What time does it start? Uh, start the ceremony itself starts at 8:30. We'll probably okay. run at about 10 o'clock or so. Something okay. like that. Okay, 8:30 to 10 is the active. Depends on how okay. long everybody speaks. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, have we had a motion? So we, we haven't had we. Chair intend a motion to approve this special event request for 9/11. So moved. Second. Second. Moved and second. Any questions or comments? It's hard to believe it's 20 years. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor, any comments today? No. Does anybody have any comments they'd like to make for the board for a meeting adjourned? Okay, meeting stands adjourned. Thank you. <clears throat>
Mindy. So she